And I've got some. So. I keep looking at you because you keep telling me the word that I'm thinking. I do. I don't Plywood. know this one. Okay, yeah, I didn't know that one this time. <laughs> okay. well, that let's we let's worry about putting this box together first. Do you need extra hands to put the box together? Well, I did it by myself. I may have done a crappy job, but I did it by myself. Well. Are we moving it all out there then? Um, why don't we just build it right there over there on the floor? So leave those, those are the legs. Don't you need them to build nope, the box? Not yet. Not quite yet. Get with the program, Julie. Get with the program. I am with the program. I'm totally with the program. I'm more than happy just to walk away and let you build it. But that seems well, you wanted me to help, not do no, it for you. Oh, no, we tell our kids that all the time. Okay. So that is like a motto at our house. I said I would help, not do it for you. Right. Well, so get in here. Okay. So this is the front. And then I cut these. Oh, crap, I should have cut these four inches shorter. Because you wanted to be... Uh, to I, I, I want to err on the side of length in this direction because this is the direction where I always put it in and then it always pinches because I put them well, on the inside here instead of on the outside. Right, the, which that's... See, because what I'm going to do is we're just going to build you a box right. just like this, okay? And so but we this, have to err on the other side. It has no, to go on the no. outside. Hold on, hold on, Judy. Look, look. I'm hyperventilating. <laughs> so what do we need? We only need 31 inches. We've got 33 inches this way. We only need, we need 40. I went extra big and went 44. And so I cut these and so these are the face plate. Are you putting the legs on the inside or the outside though? We're putting the legs on the outside. Okay, because I put the legs on the inside and that's why it shortened it. Yep, so no, we're going to put the legs. So once we get our box built, our legs will actually be here. Okay. He's really particular about getting this straight. So you'll notice he's very, very My particular. Is, I try so hard and then it doesn't. It's like, why did I just spend all that time trying to get that straight? Because it turns out it's not even square. He's magic like that. Ugh. Everything just works. Out. Have you guys ever heard of Cobb? Cobb. It's a mixture of sand, clay, and straw and water. And it forms like a cement. It's like adobe. Yeah. Huh. I'm really good with that because um, there's no nails. You don't have to measure anything. You just kind of put it where you want it and then it hardens. Really? Okay. It's like homemade cement. It's homemade cement that you can build houses and fences and chicken coops out of. God. Okay, let me down Where here. does it originate from? <laughs> it <laughs> is Almost. in Europe. Their, ho yeah, their, right. their peasant homes were made out of cobs, so it, which is amazing because you'd think it would dissolve in all the rain there. Yeah, but with the straw. But it doesn't. As long as you've got a roof over it, it'll last for hundreds of years. Huh. Because it almost sounds like the way the Egyptians would do there. Not Egyptians. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah, the Egyptians. Yes. Like kind of like they would the, do the mud huts. Yeah. In mud huts. And, but they make them out of bricks and dry them before they put them on. And you can do that. But the free form is the way I like it, because then you can put it wherever you, you can need put it. it wherever you need it, <laughs> and you just make it up as you go. I'm really good at make it up as you go. I forget okay. things quickly. Okay, do you so am I how, coming up to your face? So how tall is the? It's 31 inches, right? The the, the height, yeah, 30. It's 31 deep, 31 tall, 44 right. wide. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we're gonna want to do is how okay that's my long side so i want to mark some people are too smart by half it makes me want to slap them this would be a good way to figure out how long your legs should be <laughs> i remember Sorry. what a problem i had trying to okay, figure how, out how, how tall how tall do you want it off the ground? Um, it needs to be 31 inches down from my eye height. Okay. See, that made no sense to me. I don't even know how to it. It made sense to me. Okay, so. Yeah, the top of the cage needs to be at my eyes. Okay. From here. Where'd my pencil go? I'm going to go find it. I got, a, I got another marking tool. Okay, so from approximately right. right here. Isn't this lumber nice? 
Yeah. Is where you want. You know how much it would cost for me to buy this in the Seriously, store? Right? And you got it for free. Yeah. And now somebody else is making it for me. Right? Best. What are we looking for? The tape measure. It That's a good question. I. The people will be handy. All right. Two extra people or just two people? Or just one general? person two, besides just you? Two people in general. Well, what about ones holding cameras? That makes us almost half a person because we don't have two hands. Okay. And you'll see why. Okay. okay. This one was just a hair shorter. Oh. So, see how particular he does it? Right. Are you getting this? Are you getting this? Because <laughs> I'm off by like an inch and a half. Of yeah. Oh, like, let me see kind of how. Wonky. Let me see. They work out harder when they walk. Let me show how. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's like barely off. Like maybe, what, an eighth of an inch? No, it's not. It's good now. Oh. Okay. This is the new hutch that Ryan at Grover Glen Acres made for me. It's from it's 100% upcycled materials. From the tarp to the wood frame. I got the wood from my um, father-in-law. They had a calf hut calf shed that came down and they had these huge I think they're bigger than two bys. They look bigger than two bys. I think they're two by sixes, but they're rough cut and um, really sturdy. The wood was still good. It hadn't been in contact with wet dirt or anything, so they're super nice lumber. And I harvested everything from that old calf hutch. And then the same, uh, the tin, the siding is from him too. The, the, the tarps are from a, a contact in town that gives us old, um, old plastic and then of course I made the cage these are my same cages that I've always had and those are old grain buckets and I don't have my rabbit in here yet I'm going to as soon as we have babies because I wanted to move him over and give mama a little more space so that I can open up the partition between and let the babies come in here and then once they're weaned keep them in here on this side um, so that's where we stand right now isn't that nice So this is how I hold it together on the top with just a little clip so that I can lift it up and lift it down as I put the nest box in. 